Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today I have got an exciting package and it is some alcohol markers from Artex that they kindly sent me to review for free, which is very nice. Thank you, Artex. That is really nice. Look at this box that it comes in. Let's have a look at it properly. So it comes with this little carry case, which is quite cool. So it has a proper class pier and it looks like this on the front. This comes off so we can reveal what's on the inside. Unfortunately, it is a little bit dented here, but you know, I'm not too bothered about that. I never really get annoyed about stuff that happens in shipping because I live quite far away from probably where these are posted. So it's kind of understandable. Let's open them up. Whoa, these look awesome. So it comes with a thank you, a nice little postcard, which is quite pretty actually, I like that. And, ooh, is there an artist? No, it just says Artex, so yeah. And it comes with its own little sheet for, um, mm, what's the word? Why can't I think of the word? Wow, I am the worst artist in the history. I cannot even, what? <laughs> Scamping, sketching, swatches. They come with a little paper for swatching the colors and it tells you each one. Let's just look at them. Oh my God, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. They feel pretty solid plastic, which is quite nice. They come with the lids with the colors on and the number. And then it has this little like, I don't know if you could see that little cloud detail around the lid, which is really cute and original. So we'll give them points for that. That's very nice. And it says the number on both ends, so it doesn't matter which way you put it back in. And I think it does sort of just rest like this if you want it to, which is pretty neat because then you can just take the colors like this. And I think that is amazing. So. I don't even know, I don't think I've ever owned this many alcohol markers. Maybe I do in Copic form, but never as like a package like this. So I think if you bought these in Copics, they would be lots of money. Like I know that a Copic set of like this many, uh, roughly that many is probably about a hundred quid. So you're getting for 40 pounds instead of 100 pounds for that, you're getting all this. But do they compare to Copic markers? That's the question. I've got some pastel markers that I would like to sort of compare them to. I mean, always I believe that you get what you pay for. So, you know, even if these are a little bit not as good as Copics, it's still worth it maybe? Let's, well, I can't say that yet, but let's test them out. So they have a nib point. They don't come with a brush pen, which is kind of a shame because I prefer using the brush um, nibs on these alcohol markers. There's also a chisel tip, which I always avoid using, but lots of people do like them. I think they are really good if you have that kind of style that you use them with. Yeah, I wanna test these out. I don't know what I'm gonna draw, but I think we'll just do like a chatty video today. I keep you guys company on your, your drawing, uh, uh, drawing day, I don't know. So I've got my cup of uh, instant coffee, uh, I'm afraid to say, because desperate times, guys. <laughs> and also, I've got my lovely, I love these, they're very, very light. Wait one second. I have these four beautiful, I love these, Copic sketch markers that come with brush and chisel tip, and they're all like pastel colors, and I chose them when I was in Japan. I think you guys saw that in my Japan haul video back in the day. And yeah, so, I don't know if I'm gonna compare them because I think that's a little bit harsh because these are obviously top tier and these are affordable versions of an alcohol marker. So we, we'll just, we'll see how it goes. I've got my sketchbook here. Sorry if you can hear these seagulls, but I have moved location slightly. And I thought I would just draw whatever I want today. When we're just gonna test stuff out. So, okay, I'm, I wanna try this one because it looks like a really nice um, pastel-y, pastel is that what I mean? Like a light color. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I ain't a huge fan of the nib tip pen, but you know, I think they blend pretty nicely. Um, let's see how they blend together. Let's use a chisel, let's just go for it. Chisel tip, boom. Yeah, these are very nice, so I think that is really pretty impressive for the price point. If you guys can't afford Copic markers or 
you're not a fan of alcohol markers but you want to test them out then this is a pretty good way to go maybe you don't want that many though so i don't know i don't know your story guys i don't know your life you know um i don't know what to draw hmm do you know what i do want to draw maybe like some houses because i really enjoyed doing that with my previous horror comic is what i did was i drew loads of loads of i draw lots i cannot speak i drew lots of kind of haunted houses to get inspiration and i used alcohol markers i used alcohol markers for that whole comic so i think it would be nice to revisit that idea because i know for my horror comic i have been saying sorry about cars guys this is going to be a very relaxed video though so yeah that's just going to be the case what i was saying was that i haven't really explored using anything else other than gouache for the horror comic style and i know that i did all my other comic with alcohol markers and pen and and, and, and like a black pencil and I think that could be something nice to revisit. I know I said I wanted a completely different style, but if I have experience in something, then maybe it shouldn't, I shouldn't totally disregard trying that. I mean, it worked for me last time and I really enjoyed it. So maybe it would be a wise option, even though I am taken with the idea of, of doing it all in gouache paints. I'm not sure it's the best approach. So let's see, maybe now that I have a lot of alcohol markers given to me, would it be a good idea to use them <laughs> for my horror comic? Let's find out. Um, yeah, so I want to do... I want to blend them together because I think that is a great thing about alcohol markers. Basically, if you haven't heard of alcohol markers before, they are made with, believe it or not, alcohol. So when you put them down, they mix together and you don't have those lines like you do with felt tip. You remember in school when you'd have cheap felt tips and you'd kind of do it like this to to get it not to have so many lines like that but with alcohol markers you can just blend them together and they should not have like such harsh lines i mean they can do but you it depends how you kind of work it um <laughs> and you can layer them which is also a very nice thing they also come with like a blender marker which they have provided here so i'm going to test that out so the blender marker i believe is just more alcohol I'm not 100% sure on that so don't quote me but yeah it's just a way to mix colours together and sort of ease them out because um, but I'm not a pro at it so you can see here that I'm not very I'm not the best at alcohol market but yeah you can go in and use like lighter colours to sort of blend it out more nicely I wonder how everyone's doing. I hope you're all staying safe and in your houses and just chilling whilst this whole horrible, horrible situation passes us. I'm currently working from home, which is a very, very weird feeling because it's just like totally different. I actually went into the office and got all my equipment from there, like my iMac that I use. And yeah, since doing that, it's sped up the process, but it's just been a bit of a panic at work. It's been a pretty rough week, but we'll get through it, guys, you know? Yeah, so I'm just drawing this um, house that I've seen on Pinterest. Basically, whenever I get a bit stuck on what to draw, I, I really genuinely just go on Pinterest and make like kind of a mood board and save lots of things together. I just want to check if this is going for the page. It is. Huzzah. I'm going to use this because I don't swatch stuff. <laughs> Mix stuff together and take inspiration and... I think it used to really work for me on Instagram, but since they changed the algorithm, it kind of uh, took away that aspect. So now all I see is pe pictures of people's babies and things, and I'm like, mm, I like you guys, but I want to use Instagram for inspiration, not like your holiday trips. And I mean, I do like that aspect of it, but when I need to get some inspiration for drawing or, you know, just want to see what everyone's up to uh, art wise. Anywho, that was a ramble. Yeah, like I said, this is going to be a rambly video and it's kind of different to the videos that I would usually do. So I hope that you just stick on, um, stick on what? Stick me on in the background of whatever you're doing and just draw along with me maybe, or I don't know, whatever your life presents. I really, really, really do not like this color combination that I've picked out. And usually I, <laughs> feel like I have a good sense of colour, if that is okay to say, like 
But this time I'm like, what the heck is this ugly green and blue combo and grey? I don't know. But yeah, this is this is life, you know? Sometimes you you pick you pick bad colour choices. So I really like these markers so far. I think they're pretty close to Copics considering the price point. Yeah, I, I like I like them. I like them. Mm. Just to show you the Copic markers, so these are the ones I like because they have this brush pen and they are very, very smooth. Um, but yeah, they, they, there's not that much difference from this to this, so that's kind of nice. The only thing is the, the brush tip, what am I saying? The brush tip is something that I enjoy. But we can get used to these nibs. Also, the nibs are like handy if you want to do little details, which you can't really, just kind of hard to do with the Copic markers with the brush. So there we go, that's... There's a plus. Obviously, when you have alcohol markers, whatever you lay down does bleed out slightly. And these are bleeding out a little bit, but that's normal. So you've just got to bear that in mind when you're using them. Like when you place down a line, if you want it to be a detailed line, then just bear in mind that um, it's going to bleed out slightly. But that can be kind of nice for the style if you work with it. Don't go against it, just kind of use it for your advantage. Advantage? Why am I speaking like this? Wish I hadn't done that with the road. Oh well, done now. But yeah, the good thing about alcohol markers is that you can layer them up. So if you think like one bit is a little bit weak, you can just go back in and it will absorb into the page, but it does give like a nice little effect of like a darker area. And usually in... Do you mind Kubo? Do you mind? And usually this just works out if you want to add a little bit of depth or, you know, a little bit more def definition to a certain area to draw the eye. That's really handy. So there you go, guys. That's death pro tip of the, uh, the day. <laughs> I apologize that it's not the best tip. Okay, right. I want to draw some trees in the background here because I think, like, it will add a little bit of... This is a very, very light green. This is why people do swatches, you know? I want a darker green than that, so let's get number 50, which looks like a very dark green. These also don't, I mean they do have names, but they don't have them on the pen, which would have been nice. So 50 is, I've got all the names here that you can reference them if you want to. Forest green, let's go with forest green then. And I want to just do a little bit of like a darker grass, grassy knoll over here, just to make sure that it's in the background, you know? Maybe it would be a good idea to do some like haunted houses and sketch those right now because I want some inspiration for my horror comic. And obviously the inspiration right now has been like motels, creepy old motels and stuff, but maybe I want to just explore ideas a little bit more. I have been writing the story out a little bit and what I know now is that the characters, there's going to be two characters. So there's going to be the main character and there's going to be like a little girl traveling with her. I haven't really decided her name yet, but um, her name, her age. But I want her to be like maybe 11, 12, kind of mature, but enough to know like what's going on, but not mature enough to be able to kind of deal with stuff herself, if that makes sense, without an adult around. Some adult supervision. Um, but yeah, I'm still thinking about names for these characters. So let's see. I really want you guys to be involved in this process a little bit more. So if you guys want to name a character, then just um, comment down below and give me your name suggestions and ideas. So what it is, is that um, one of the characters is an, the aunt of this little girl this young lady, I don't know her age yet, probably a young teenager. And um, they are traveling together because she's sort of rescuing her from not a very nice father and they're going somewhere else. And that is my new idea and I think they can have a really good back and forth conversation wise. Whereas before I felt like just having that character by herself, it was a little bit boring and I think it works to have two characters together. So I have decided that they will be two characters. And if you would like to name them both, or name one of them, then let me know. Um, this takes place in roughly the 1950s in America. Again, we're going to have that sort of like timeless quality. But give me names down below and I will, you know, tell you if I use them. And thank you very much. So. 
yeah, that's the story. I can't really tell you more about the characters to help name them because I haven't got that far yet. I mean, the aunt is kind of a little bit bitter, but not bitter, but just kind of wise and yeah, I guess bitter and a smoker and just sharp and then the young girl is full of zest and life and she's just just full of optimism about certain situations. So if you would like to name the characters, then comment down below and I will look them up. If you got that far into this video, because this video is a logo. Yeah, I just want to keep guys company whilst I draw because I haven't really done a draw along with me video since forever. And it's just going to be very, very relaxed. And so, yeah, with my old comic, I used a pencil for the lines and then I coloured them like this. And I think I do really genuinely like that style and I do kind of miss drawing with it. So today can just be like that fun little, fun little example of that. Yeah, my first impression of these is that they're quite nice and I, I, I enjoy them. They're very good for the price point and... Yeah, I like them. I'm just going to draw more more houses, I think. And if that's okay with you guys. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of the way that this drawing turned out, but that is no fault of the alcohol markers. I would say that is just me warming up. So I'm going to draw some more spooky houses and uh, let's try it out. I mean, this is just my sketchbook. And usually I found that I've been very, been more sketchy in my sketchbook, if that makes sense, more rough. Because usually, like before, I would just, I would have finalized pieces in my sketchbook because that's just the way I like drawing. But recently I've been drawing more on separate sheets of watercolor paper and stuff. So for me, it just made sense to, I'm going to use the chisel tip a little bit more because I don't tend to use that. And I think it will be nice to try and explore using that. Chisel tip is great if you want like straight lines. It's very easy to get like a perfect straight line with them which is very nice. I think that's why a lot of like architects and people who design products use use the chisel tip a lot which makes sense. Probably makes sense to have swatched these out before just going for it because as you know not always the the colors don't necessarily match the the lid but in this case I think I think they're pretty good. They're pretty on point, so that's that's good. Usually with cheap alcohol markers, they don't really tend to bother with the lid, um, well, the color of this indicator matching what the actual color is. So it's nice to know that at this price point, they, they have put thought into it and they do care. I also think that this whole idea of it being a carry case that you can just place down is really nice too. I'm very impressed with the whole design and concept here. Very impressed. I'm trying, I wanna get a little bit experimental here with these because I think that there is room to be a little bit, a little bit weird with these. Which, you know, I'm a little bit weird with my artwork, so that makes sense, doesn't it? I hope that this will be a little bit of a longer video than usually because, like I said, it's gonna be a very chilled video and we're just gonna chat. So I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying this type of video. If you, you don't, let me know. It's fine. I don't need to be like this all the time. I'm just doing a one-off thing of this because I've had a very long week and I think we all have really, to be fair, I think we've all been a little bit, not down, but just like a bit stressed out with everything going on. So I think it makes sense for me to just, it was either going to be no video today or just this really chilled, basic editing video that I'm doing right now. And I hope you guys don't mind because I wanted to speak with you sort of, you know, I'm not really speaking with you, but I am a little bit and I hope you don't mind that this is the video. I keep saying the same thing. I think I'm like just repeating myself. Um, it's like I said, it's a little bit weird as you wouldn't see this in real life, but it, it just works. I think behind this, I want to use my colored pencils because I, I just love like color pencils and, and, um, alcohol markers together. I just, I just love that kind of aesthetic and I love using them. So I was going to go back to Japan at the end of April and obviously that is not happening anymore because of everything going on. It's a bit of a downer but that's life sometimes and I'm just trying to stay positive and keep my head up. I think everybody is at this stage and then you know I'm gonna focus more on trying to do my own projects and stuff even though work has been crazy and especially trying to work from home has been crazy but you know yeah like this idea of like slightly crooked lines within. It's not because I can't <laughs> 
draw. I just like crooked lines in my drawings. No, I think it just adds like a little bit of charm to have like these windows that look a little bit wonky wonk. That is the correct term, guys. Wonka wonk. So yeah, I am. I really like these markers. I'm so glad that Artex sent them to me. I'm really lucky. It's part of the perks of you know working two years on YouTube. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna do something weird now. I'm gonna do the background in a really dark gray. It looks really ominous, but I do like the way that it looks. Anybody just joining this channel and have actually made it to this point in the video, I just wanna say that I am quite experimental with stuff I do and like quite rough with things. I don't really think things out. I just kind of go for it. So if that's something you like, then um, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how I like to do things because then it kind of takes the pressure away a little bit and also I get more into like the design of or the process of doing some of this stuff so I need to use a lighter color maybe I use like this pale sort of skin white skin color Let's see how that looks so way. definitely like a lot of texture in my work I feel like it adds visual interest when I'm doing stuff and just something I enjoy like a lot of people probably don't enjoy that in the stuff like they probably like smooth clean lines and smoothness but honestly I prefer it I like not when looking at other people's stuff like I like when I like other people's stuff I like it but um for me I like to use a lot of texture okay house number two done you know what like maybe we can add a little bit of pop of color here Hmm, maybe that's too dark. Let's go with the lighter one first and then we can build it up if it's too dark. So, just been getting bigger and bigger with this piece. I'm gonna run out of paper. <laughs> Don't know why I've done it like that. Like, yeah, block out this section. They have massive house for no reason, just because I am dumb. Okay, now it's time to go darker. Let's see how this works. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some trees in the background and I think I want to add like pops of color to all of these because I think like that's more my style than this kind of gray stuff that I've been doing. So I'm just gonna be a bit quirky with it because I think that's kind of cool, that style. Um, yeah, I want to do like a darker blue in the background of this one. That definitely adds something to it like this style a bit more blue over here yeah i like that so i'm gonna do some more pops of color around that's a great thing about alcohol markers is you can just definitely layer them like whatever and it works quite nicely okay guys so i think that is a really cool page and yeah i think i'm done here i really like the way that i did in the end it got a little bit more experimental which is more my style and more my thing and i really love these markers i'm definitely going to use more of them and sketch out some more stuff if you like to see some random sketches and things like that then please follow me on instagram because i like to post up lots of images that i've done from videos and also other stuff and i like to do different stories and things i'm hoping to post more on there so if you follow me there then you can get some inspiration from me maybe and we can chat and stuff and I yeah I don't know about you guys but if you like alcohol markers then maybe they're worth testing out I think they're a good cheap alternative to Copic markers and they work really nicely and they look pretty damn good too so that's it from me I hope you guys are staying safe and well during this time and I really look forward to our time together or my talking to the camera to you together if that makes sense so i will see you next time hopefully and yeah good luck everyone bye